Thank you. Uh, Coach, just a uh, general thought to start our press conference on the game. Oh, first of all, I just want to credit uh, Rochelle Turner and Murray State and those kids. Um, just the program that she has built there over five years, uh, the way they play the game, how hard they play. Um, we we beat a really, really good team today and a really well-coached team. And uh, so just want to give credit to them. Um, but I also want to give credit to our players. So proud of the heart uh, and the character that they showed today. We said all along, just get it to the last five minutes of the fourth quarter, and we felt like we could finish it. And uh, it was a little doubtful there in the fourth where I think we went down seven, uh, but we called a timeout, and then these kids did what they've done all year. When their backs are against the wall, they've responded, and they've responded to adversity all year long. And, uh, and I thought we just took over down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Questions here in the room first before we go to our Zoom. I've, I've been watching basketball for a long time. Postseason play, the ball has a way of not going in when you really need it. But it went in over and over the for you guys well it did it did the fourth quarter uh I, you know i didn't didn't feel like the the first half the first quarter it did a whole lot um but i thought our kids made huge plays down the stretch um you know we we made plays when we had to um and we also knocked down free throws at the end of the game which is something that from time to time we, we've struggled with but but we made those big plays today and when you want to advance in march no, no question, you know, part of our formula is defense and rebounding, but there's no question. The ball has to go in, in the hole, and I thought we made plays when we had to today. It feel real good when that one hung up and hung up and hung up for a three-point play for it. Going. No, no doubt, no doubt. You know, you, you gotta have you gotta have a little lucky bounce <laughs> every now and again. And uh, you know, but but I, I I did. I thought our kids though too, when there wasn't a way, we found a way. Uh, and and I also thought our pace today was huge. Uh, you know, and I want to credit this one right here, Jada Gwen. Um, you know, I, I don't know that she came off the floor very much uh, tonight. But the pace, the last five minutes that she was able to push, which started on the defensive end, because we finally, and after I think we called that timeout when we when we went down seven, we finally started getting some stops, which allowed us to get out in transition. And I thought by the end of it, we had kind of taken their legs a little bit. So I thought that would that was huge. And obviously, Anna Walker came up so huge for us tonight. 19 points, nine rebounds, like she has done most of the year. Uh, Anna Jones, again, who has carried us through uh, the OVC season, was, again, huge tonight for us, uh, 15 points and, and, and five boards. So, uh, And then I, what a great story, Keisha Brady. We, we thought we had a fifth-year senior that we thought we had lost uh, to an ACL, what, four or five games ago. Uh, got a great miracle surprise that it wasn't. And then for her to even be able to get on the court tonight, you know, a lot of people don't know our story. They uh, because we don't we don't make excuses, we don't whine, we don't complain, um, and and our kids don't. Uh, but we have had so many injuries uh, to be where we are right now. I think just speaks to who these young women are. Let's go to the Zoom, Ben. If you want to unmute yourself and ask your questions, go ahead. Coach, first off, congratulations on the win. Uh, you know, just put it into words what this means for you and for your program to be playing for an OVC championship. Well, it means we get another 40 minutes together, um, you know, and, and look, these kids, they didn't just come back to get to a championship game. Um, they came back to hang a banner and we've got another great team tomorrow uh, in Belmont uh, and it will be a 40 minute dog fight. It has been both times that we played them. Um, but you know, we kind of broke a ceiling today. Uh, you know, we've been to the semifinals and we've been knocking on the door, especially with these fifth year seniors, you know, for the last, for the last four years. And uh, this is, they came back to get an opportunity to do this. And this is all you can ask for in life is an opportunity. And I know, I know they are, they are gonna, um, they are gonna be excited and we'll come out and, uh, and give it all, all we got tomorrow against a very, very good basketball team. Ben, do you have a follow-up? Uh, 
in the fourth quarter. Fantastic, fantastic finish in the fourth quarter. Thank you. We found a way to kind of hype <clears throat> work away around Caitlin Young. We, you know, with her physical presence, she can stop a lot of shots. And you were able to get in there and get some big buckets. Yeah, um, just that big physical presence down in the post. It's really hard to go against. Um, but I think this week we've worked really hard in practice about just you're not going to be able to push her back down and score. You have to score around her. And especially just with my size, um, I knew what I needed to do. And in order for our team to win, I knew I had to execute that. Jada, you were jack of all trades tonight with six rebounds, seven, well, yeah, six, six rebounds, seven assists, 12 points. You found ways to make plays and score if you had to. Yeah, I was just trying to do what I could for my team. Um, I was trying to push the ball in transition. Um, there was a time at halftime we were getting out-rebounded, and Coach Rose said something about it, so I just tried to do that. I know I'm a good rebounder, so I was just trying to do that for my team and just create for everybody. Follow up on that with the rebounds. I mean, what, what adjustments did you guys make? Because it was very lopsided early. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, in halftime, we, we talked about how rebounding is one of our keys to win, and um, – I think that just having that mindset of just going and crashing the boards hard, um, that'll create extra plays, especially on the offensive end, getting offensive boards and stuff. And that is one of my, I feel like that's something that I do well. So I think getting back to doing that helped a lot whenever we, we were down. As a kid, any of you guys yet that you're in the championship? A little bit. Uh, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Thomas, again, you know, that they, they didn't come back just, just to get here, you know, and, um, and yes, we just beat a really, really good basketball team. And what I, what I'm the most proud about is what they did in the fourth quarter, you know, to outscore a team like that 24 to 11 in the fourth quarter um, and to hold them. I mean, offensively, they are, they are as good offensively. I mean, they've got Caitlin Young, who is – she's almost unstoppable in the paint. If you let her touch it, you know, and and our – goodness gracious, our post players. I mean, I, we're going to have to get a nice bath for these guys because Anna Walker and uh, Mackenzie Coleman just had to work their butts off. And, uh, I mean, she still got 22 and 10. And, uh, and I thought they worked so hard. And we got great team defense. We got really good help side. But, I mean, she is a – I mean, she's player of the year for a reason. Um, but I thought defensively to hold a team that scores around 73, 75 points, to hold them to to, uh, to 62 points, nine points below their average, to hold them in the fourth quarter to 17% shooting, um, you know, and to only – they are one of the best free throw shooting basketball teams in the entire country, and we knew we couldn't put them at the line. Uh, and so for them to only get there 10 times, I thought we played really – really smart. And I thought those were some big, very big keys to the game. Now we got to rest and recover and uh, be ready to, to give that effort. Um, that same effort that we gave for 35 minutes. I didn't love our effort the first five minutes of the game. I thought maybe it was some jitters and some nerves, but I thought we settled in and uh, just played really, really hard. Wasn't always pretty, but it hadn't been real pretty all year. Uh, but this team has just found a way and we got to do it again for 40 minutes more. And be remiss about bringing up Megan Clark. Huge shots tonight. She's and she, again, she's done that for us all year. Um, you know, I, look, I, we've got a veteran basketball team. Um, we've got a, a team that's played a, a lot of games in the OVC, won a lot of games in the OVC, and uh, and we talked all week about competitive greatness, right, guys, and being at your best when when your best was needed most, and uh, and they were at their best when we needed it most, and uh, and as it got harder, they got better throughout the game. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.